Okay, hello and welcome. I came across this map today. This is my th third attempt. First time I ended up muting myself for a really long period early on. And then I just quit recording, started over because it wasn't that long yet. Second time I didn't unmute myself. And so it's a little weird saying the same things three times. But, um... I came across this map, and I realized it's called, it's from this website. I don't know where the map is from, major linguistic groups, I guess. Um, but it's a map of Native American tribes across North America. I don't know, this is a good question, and I've never seen this map. It's kind of sad, really, to think about it. Especially the more aware I am of their knowledge. I'm like, oh my god, they were so mistreated. Like... <sighs> but I came across on the map the Seneca which I'm like, okay, that one of the lakes, one of the finger lakes is Seneca Lake, or Lake Seneca, I'm not even sure, um, and it's like one of the main conduits, so that's probably, that's a good sign, so I've, in, in the past, I looked for Iroquois flood myths, and I didn't find anything online, so I just kind of moved on, and then I saw this map, and I was like, well, it says Seneca. Maybe I should look for Seneca flood myths, and then I came across this one. I don't know if I want to read every myth that I am looking at, because um, this one's pretty interesting. It's just, it is text to read if I were to really read it. Um, it's pretty intense also, honestly. It's pretty intense, let's read it. It's a creation myth of, of the Seneca, which I'll even give m some thoughts on it, maybe. Myths and legends abounded among the Indian tribes of North America. Many tribes had legends which explained to them how the earth was made and how the rivers, mountains, deserts, lakes, and seas came into being. Very exciting. The legends then went on to describe how the earth came to be inhabited by its living beings, or things, the trees, flowers, birds, mammals, and man himself. The legends vary from tribe to tribe, and one of the most fascinating is that, by, that told by the elders of the Seneca tribe. This says that once the world consisted, once the world consisted of only water, only of water, in which there lived all creatures that are suited to the sea, animals and fishes, and there were birds which preyed on these creatures. Above the water was heaven, so there's a, seemingly a layer of water, and then a layer of heaven, in which there lived other birds and animals, and man. So man lived in heaven, and then there was a under layer of water where a water water world under layer kind of thing in the, what's being described here their paradise was ruled by a great chief and illuminated by the beautiful fluorescent blossoms of the tree of light very avatar like this stood at the door of the great chief's lodge one night, or maybe Avatar is pretty much based off of that kind of thing. Not to say Avatar-like, I was kind of like, uh, yeah, what, so what does that mean, dude? Think about it, think about it, there he got it, he got, there he got, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't mean it, like, okay, anyway. This stood at the door of the Great Chief's Lodge. So... The great chief, maybe Odin. So if we think about it like Odin, maybe just as a possibility on Earth, we've considered this to be Odin. And then um, I haven't thought about it this angle yet. I was, I'd, at the, 
I kind of interpreted it maybe as uh, an individual. One night the chief dreamed that he was going to get married to the most beautiful of all the girls in the tribe. The chief wooed the girl and married her. However, as time went by, so who did he marry? I wonder if it's the Egyptian goddess episode I have, where I think it's some, I don't know if I have an image of it. Not even sure if this is Egyptian. No. African African goddess. This picture's too cool and I didn't want to change it, but I think that I think the topic of this one is more about let's just open it, whatever. About uh Yeah. This. What's about this? This. And like its relationship to Africa. So without remembering it very much, I'm just going to say whatever I said in this one maybe uh, relates to the bride. Married her. If Odin is all like Australia in terms of... Uh, the things we've considered thus far with like Norse mythology, um, Odin's ravens, Nidhogg, uh, Jorman, Gander, whatever, all those episodes and the ones leading into it, those topics, if we still keep those in mind looking at this, okay. Um, and also a possible parallel of like a more individual like beings on the planet kind of thing and actual events occurring where it, people were doing things uh one night the chief okay however as time went by the chief became jealous so proud was he of his wife's incredible beauty that he could not bear any other young men gazing upon her Soon this jealous jealousy produced fits of blind rage and hatred. Makes me wonder. So young men, like if Odin, if Odin is over here, almost like he's looking like away. Even he's looking away. Like his, and she's looking away. Maybe over here, he's looking away from her. I'm just thinking young men, like if Odin is like an old, old man, like a great chief, uh, some kind of um, nucleus continent, like as the earth is breaking apart, it's gonna, it reaches a point where there's seven continents there's not 20 continents so like there could have been more and more continents and what that would have done is made there be more young and then maybe men by like positive negative features of the earth where there's some kind of masculine aspect maybe over here <laughs> <laughs> okay let's keep going though and so maybe like part of the tale is that the earth like got that like enough there's, there's enough continents on this planet and so he went into a fit of rage so let's keep going uh Soon this jealousy, jealousy produced blind fits of blind rage and hatred. So if we kind of look at the um, Australia's magnetic anomaly map, where it has this ammonite feature, 
it's possible that this is this is basically a decay sequence of a nucleus like a atom fractally and um so it's gonna have like spurts of outbursts that are not like gentle they're gonna be very raging so maybe that fits in that way and the hatred maybe because of like the like against the equilib relative equilibrium i don't know while he is one in one of the grips of in the grips of one of these rages the chief staggered from his lodge while he's in the fit so if we go oh my god it really it might fit like this He was here, Australia was here with Papua New Guinea attached here with the uh, Solomon Islands. Papua New Guinea like attached up that way where I can't go. And then it broke away. Okay. Let's go back. The chief staggered from his lodge. So maybe his lodge was, uh, hmm, actually, actually, so going even further back, so Papua New Guinea was he attached here, but it was actually before this stuff was here, it was all the way up here, so Papua New Guinea was up here, then it moves over here and, like, reattaches here in like a middle stage of the earth expansion process it just moves but it doesn't move again until later so maybe that what it's describing is it moving from the lodge from his lodge to he rushed at the tree of light and tore its roots from the ground oops so it moves over here, tears the roots from like the Nidhogg is gnawing at the roots. So some aspect of this process of North America is relating to the roots of the tree, tree of light, tree of life, world tree. Because the roots had grown right through the floor of heaven, they left a gigantic hole when they were uprooted. Hmm. Bless you. I got a Guinness. I don't know why. Extra stout. They're pretty old. Hopefully it's all right. <laughs> it's not bad, but um, yeah. So anyway, uh, blah blah blah. Wow, da, 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 da. The light from the fallen tree now shone for the first time on the watery world below. So maybe these holes were having the current flow into them in a way that it reached down into the watery world below and caused it to then upwell. Let's keep going. Maybe... Chief warned his people not to go near the hole. I was initially thinking the hole might be up here. Um, I 
I need to highlight it each time. <laughs> Uh, because the perils were awaiting, were awaiting them if they were to slip and tumble into the unknown depths. His people not to go near the hole. Maybe the other continents? Like, had they gone on top of the hole, they would have gotten materials drawn in and, like, sucked in in some way. Anybody who looked through the hole would be punished. <laughs> Every time the chief squaw, which I guess is his wife, sounds like went in or out of their lodge, her journey took her around this gaping chasm. This is more like human story than the rest. In or out of their lodge, her journey took her around this gaping chasm. The other story, it makes me think much more of this area that I'm having looked at. A battle between frost and whirlwind. <laughs> that one's got so many interesting things. I'm like... Could it be? I don't, I don't know what to make of it yet. I'm just... Uh, slip and tumble into the un un unknown depths. He warned them that anybody... Okay. Every time that you... I don't know. It sound, This sounds more just like human. Uh, that, maybe I should think about it. Um, this part, like, if the continents fall through, fine, whatever. But then, let's see, we need some kind of reason that the wife... Every time the chief squaw went in or out of their lodge, Journey took her around this gaping chasm. At first she bore in mind her husband's warning and overcame her desire to look through the hole. Soon, however, her curiosity got the better of her. Getting down on her hands and knees, she crawled to the edge of the opening and peered down. Unfortunately, this act coincided with another of the chief's rages. He rushed from the lodge and... So I'm... I was also thinking as I was reading this, maybe, maybe, like... Hawaii sphere coming out of the lodge in here. Maybe there's things coming out of here. And there was a like supernova type of event here. Radioactive decay, whatever. Well, a product of the radioactive decay of Hawaii was over here. Hawaii does kind of fit in other ways of the story um potentials I'm just thinking of potentials um let's keep going though so, her journey took her around the gape, this gaping chasm. I've thought about the possibility... There's so many things to draw from. That... Maybe this one? Here's the location where Hawaii moves and then has the figure eight orbital form around it and then it shoots a jet this way here. So I'm wondering maybe Hawaii is here. And that is, uh, then it moves this way by the, 
near the near the gaping hole. So maybe, maybe Hawaii moves this way, goes in the hole, and then we can't continue the story. Her journey took her around this gaping chasm. At first, she bore in mind her husband's warning and overcame her desire to look through the hole. Soon, however, like she didn't, like the sphere didn't go quite into the hole, but uh, her curiosity got the better of her. Maybe like a a draw, like a gravity, or something like drawing her in, getting down on her hands and knees. So like really slowing down as she approached the hole maybe she crawled to the edge of the opening and peered down or maybe just like rolling on it and then like sitting atop it even and then unfortunately this act coincided with another of the chief's rages so like then the another of these rings outward of these decay sequence going on here sent out energy that then interacted with hawaii there i don't know, don't know if this fits any of the data except generally just supposing some things rush from the lodge oh wait he rushed from the lodge, and with his powers of reason distorted by anger, he gave her a push. Bewildered and frightened, the girl tumbled helplessly into the void below. Odin, powers of reason... Distorted by anger with a supernova. Bewildered and frightened, the girl tumbled, tumbled helplessly into the void below. Still, the chief's anger was unabated. Everything he could grab or catch was sent tumbling through the chasm. Then, like, this gaping hole... That had just happened, maybe even these ones. Like this one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, I think it's goes this one, this one, this one. It's like small to large. So as it as it's going, maybe Hawaii moves that way. Although I think Hawaii We'll see. Let's keep going. It could be around like 90 million years radiometric dating when this kind of storyline is happening, if these things are happening, leading into, because Odin keeps having his power, his rage, his uh, another rages, still the chief's rage, anger was unabated. Everything he could grab and catch was sent tumbling through the chasm. Eagles, birds, wolves, raccoons, beavers fell prey to the chief's wrath. He hurled down pine trees, birch trees, and corn. In fact, he threw down everything that he could lay his hands on. So pretty much just everything going down this hole, going down this drain, maybe, initially. I don't know why it's a hole. I really look at it as more like a surface bubble or something. Like in lo it happens in magma flows to a degree, things of this nature, like on the surface of the flow. Um, whoa, Hawaii goes this way, this way. And then falls in this way, rolls up to it, falls in. I don't know. <laughs> Just some fun with the idea, I guess. Um, already 24 minutes. That's the problem with doing more than, like, the one I wanted to. <laughs> Squawk was hurtling downwards through the skies. Fortunately, her desperate plight was seen by the water birds. They So birds, 
like uh, current sources, like this bird, like the currents are flowing out of it, like this is a nucleus energetic source that's propagating energy out. There's a bird here, there's a bird head 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 here. Birds are like functions of where energy is flowing from, so water birds being like water based rather than earth based they flew to her aid to to Hawaii, this hawaiian spheres aid by interlocking their wings which happens also over here like this bird and this birds th these wings this or uh, i forget where i found it let's see Animals of Earth, if I have it on this one, this one, this one, interlocking wings, like across here, 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 here. These aren't necessarily like, exactly, but I'm, that's the idea that I'm thinking. Caught her and slowed down her fall at the same time, so like these, the, the actual energetic like nuclei that then have arm wings that fan out like dendritically like arms that are then dendritically fan out like wings and then capture this descent of the sphere at the same time the other animals became aware of the squall's danger and they got busy preparing a suitable landing place the great turtle swam to the surface and floated with its gigantic shell project projecting above the water. So if this over here, we need to go to here. If this is the gray turtle, which is like I guess below so if like the sphere falls down through the layers oh my god the western pacific over here this this right here is flowing from right here up across this way and then down and I've been kind of thinking it it's like below. It's literally below. So this is like sticking out. And it catches Hawaii on top of it. While it... Because essentially it's projecting this way. Along this trail. And then maybe went down through that hole... And then on this thing, as like the Earth starts to expand in a way where it then ends up, I don't know exactly what happened with Hawaii, but ends up here, possibly going through all these locations all over the place, I don't know. But ends up here and then rolls back, breaks apart, and falls over this way. Okay. At the same time, the other animals became aware. Gray turtles swam to surface. Water rats, toads, and frogs made numerous journeys down to the seabed where they collected rocks, sand, and soil. They piled these onto the, a, the shell, which slowly grew into an island. So basically, again, just like this region, when Hawaii goes atop it, maybe? The water birds brought the squaw safely to the end of her long journey and placed her gently on the newly made island. Maybe... Even though... Here, like, maybe gent gently on the newly made island right here?
or else gently like this way rolling on top of it. Or just not related to that part of the process just in early on when it just like went through the hole. If this happened, of course, I'm just supposing some things that don't seem completely off from the data that I'm aware of and what's being said here. After her came the other animals that the chief had thrown out of heaven, all brought down to safe landings by the birds. After them came the trees, corn, and other plants. Trees, corn, and other plants. Just like, is there any... This place is cool. Hmm. I don't know if I've really paid that much mind, honestly. Here's Fiji. Here's Tahiti. No. Samoa. Past those, but relatively in a line. Actually, interestingly, like from the center here, if we go this way, I guess, center here through these. Doesn't quite go there. Just thinking like here. There might be some relationship. Ge geometrically, I don't know. Let's try the very base too, like right there. Besides the point, okay, let's keep going. Well, no wonder you go take so long, dude. They're God. How am I supposed to watch this? After her came the, okay, okay. The sea animals carried on working to increase the size of the island, so the Pacific grew. Uh, building out further and further from the giant turtle. Okay, giant turtle. Sea animals building out over here. Maybe something. Some kind of plant that that was, I don't know, tree or corn. Oh, I don't know. Maybe this is kind of corn like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It sounds a lot like the Pacific when I'd say in that part of it. If we, if we interpret the uh, building out around further from the, further and further from the giant turtle. Trees and other vegetation took root, and the animals and birds settled happily in their new land. The squaw from the sky, now known in legend as the Sky Woman, became the mother of a new tribe known forever after as the Great Earth Mother. The Great Chief in Heaven still has his terrible fits of rage. He stamps furiously around, causing it to thunder on the earth and his shadow to darken the rays of light through the throne by the tree of light. That part's a little anomalous. Uh, unless Australia has another decay sequence that it can do at some point, And it's not really that stable. I don't know. That would be what that would be suggesting, according to what I was just saying. But uh, this is like where I think of Hawaii. Like it's literally a pl miniature planet when we consider the sphere of Hawaii, which is in here somewhere, Hawaii. Like, as I take this picture, 
Sorry, I don't know where this is from. And I basically said, okay, not just the islands. I'm not just looking at the islands. What if I take all of this, generally speaking, the boundary of this, and try to get like a good representation of its original boundaries if if it were to be a sphere and i just kind of take these these three main groups and the rest are like so subtle that they're like maybe little pieces of it at that point or outer portions um and i took these and i said well let's just say this right here is connected and then just like literally like, we can see a chakra right here. It just connected all the way back and, like, through and through. And I measured the distances in my Hawaii playlist. That is a bunch of videos where I'm working it all out for sure. And it's certainly a work in progress even now. But, like, it fits the data. Like, the lengths fit in a way where, like, this could have been where that chakra was connected right to Hwala Lele. Five to five, six to six, 15 to 15 to 15 to 15, because it was a sphere that wrapped around. I don't mind this picture that I shouldn't have there anyway on the bottom right. Uh, and then these blue and red paths wrap around in the uh, A and B, although I have an A out here for some reason. 12 to 12, 13, 13, 14, 14. Like, it actually fits sort of like this, sort of like this. I know it's... It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I ate it, though. I ate it. It's gone. It's gone. Big island. Certainly not to scale completely, but the general gist. And, uh... So it literally is like a baby earth. So maybe it's like a great mother earth also. Mind you, the Hawaiian sphere was the inner surface of the sphere, is what we see as Hawaii now. And the outer surface, I believe, deposited more so over here, and then the along this way as well, until it basically finally broke apart, and the magma is mostly contained under, because it was a planet, that contained magma within it that had an inner shell because our earth, our, our earth also has an inner shell because they're basically like like my rocky boulders not, not builders I don't know why I did that like these things that are much more hollow it's mu it very much like this earth is very much like this so too um was Hawaii, where this was the inner surface, and then the magma contained between the inner surface and the outer surface got trapped under the, what I believe to be generally the South Pole. Um, that broke off as the biggest chunk and kind of contained the, the most magma underneath it as well. And then voila, so these are the mount the islands that I piece together onto a sphere. So relating it to this. Okay, that's that. That's this one. Maybe I should just stop at this one and do a Seneca. I'll do a second video and just call this one Seneca Creation Myth or something, maybe. Because the other one is probably even longer than this one. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back. All right. See you then.